Hey guys, it's Bodhi with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up live TV or IPTV for free on your Chromecast with Google TV device. Now, Chromecast with Google TV and Google TV devices like this one are becoming popular alternatives to the Amazon Fire Stick as we move into 2024. Now, all you need to do, first thing I wanna mention is you must be signed in to your Google account on your Chromecast device. It sounds silly, but you'd be surprised how many times things don't work, and it's because someone isn't signed in to their Google account on their Chromecast. So make sure you're signed in. The second thing I wanna mention, guys, is that all of the applications and content that I'm going to show you was installed from the Google Play Store. So because the applications that I installed were from Google Play, I am 100% confident that these applications are verified and legal to access the content that they provide. So I wanna make that very clear. Now to access the free live channels, all you need to do is hover over live. So from the main screen up here, you'll be on for you, just hover over live. And if you scroll down, you'll see this humongous program guide uh, with all sorts of channels from various categories, hundreds of free live channels. First thing I wanna point out is that Google TV actually has 118 free built-in channels. Now I didn't install any streaming apps for this. These are just live channels that come pre-installed on your Chromecast with Google TV device. So I'm curious if you guys may have more than 118 channels. I actually had 80 some a few months ago, so some system updates bumped me up to 118. Um, but that's a great feature here is you have these free built-in channels from the Google TV device. So whether it's ION, NBC News Now, just scrolling through here, some great options completely for free. Zumo Western, Zumo Movies, Sky News, Reuters, Newsmax, New York News, so some local options, Court TV, uh, just a lot of great options here that are 100% free and already built in. Now, the, another thing I wanna mention is if there are certain channels that you prefer, so like this weather channel, for example, if you scroll over the icon, you'll see a little star here. And if you click the OK button on your remote, that will add a channel to your favorite. So if I go through here and just add a few channels to my favorites, so I like crime content as well, um, and I'm just gonna add a few more here, emergency, paranormal, PGA Tour I'm a fan of. Um, and if I scroll over and then hover over favorites here under your channels, you'll see there are four channels I've added to my favorites. Now this is important because it can be overwhelming when you have hundreds of free live channels, but yet you're only accessing five to 10 of those channels on a regular basis. So it's important to keep track of your favorites list. Now, if there are channels you wanna remove, just simply click the okay button to remove the star. And you'll see here that I'm removing my favorites. So now favorites is gone. You'll see there's no favorites option up here. Um, but the other thing too I wanna show you guys is that's just basically how you get started, showing you these free built-in channels and how to add it to your favorites. If for some reason you wanna add more channels to this list, all you need to do is install streaming apps from the Google Play Store that provide free live content. Now, what do I mean by this? So I've already installed a few for the purposes of this video. But if I hover over apps, you'll see that I've already installed Pluto TV, Zumo Play, and some other applications for the purposes of this video. But primarily Pluto TV is the example I wanna show you. So once I've installed Pluto TV from the Google Play Store and I hover back over live, if I scroll through here, you'll see the option for Pluto at the top. You'll see how it says Pluto TV Spotlight uh, above Minority Report there on the top and the center. Um, so if I scroll up, it says Google TV. And if I scroll down, now I know that these options are from Pluto TV. And if I scroll through here, the nice part about this device is it's also scraped content from applications that I haven't even installed. So Tubi, I haven't installed Tubi on my device, but yet I get access to live channels from Tubi. Uh, I also get access from Plex. So Plex provides live channels as well. And I don't have that installed on my Chromecast, yet I'm still getting access there. Um, and some various other streaming applications as well. So if I click local channel, for example, here's another one, Haystack News. I don't have Haystack News on my device, but I'm still pulling in channels from that source. So a lot of these local channels are from Tubi, Haystack News, it looks like. Um, but that's the point I wanted to show you is that this automatically pulls in, you know, channels and streaming sources 
from applications available in the Google Play Store without you even having to install them on your device. And that's a really cool feature. So the final thing I wanna show you in this video, guys, if for some reason you aren't getting access to as many channels as you see on my video, all you need to do is I would do a system update. So click the home button on your remote, hover over the settings icon, click the settings icon, scroll down, and then you wanna click system. And then once you click system, you want to scroll down and you want to click about. And then once you click about, you want to click system update. So once you click system update, you'll get a screen that looks like this that says checking for update. And it says your system is up to date. Now I'm just going to click checking for update again just to be sure. Okay, so my Chromecast is up to date. So once your system is up to date, simply hover back over the live tab up top here, scroll through and then see if you are, if you do have more channels available to stream now. So if you do not guys, I would just be patient um, as Google TV is continuing to update their content offerings and just optimizing this live TV experience. But that's it, guys. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you all watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you found it helpful. And guys, also leave me a comment below if there's something I'm missing or if there's any other streaming apps that I should check out that provide free live content from the Google Play Store. And guys, I hope you have a great 2024, and I also hope you have a great day.